Well, it was a relatively uneventful night. Uh, until now, we see several different pods in several different directions. Uh, I've got people spread around, so I just have maximum vision. And these guys seem to be... I think these guys are wanderers. These ones seem to have a purpose, and these ones came right for me. So, pretty sure these ones here are, you know, the horde that... Little the horde that could right through here. So, we're just going to move the car. There we go. The machine guns are doing their job. Go ahead and get these guys in. Uh, no, these guys are wanderers too. Okay, no big deal. Uh, we'll get this car down to distract. Just in case they want to go for my antenna. Or anything. Now, they're not going to go for anything. They're just going to stand around and die. That's what we want to see. I could bring these guys in. Wouldn't be out of the question to just eliminate some threats from the map, right? So, why don't we go ahead and try to bring these guys in. No, they are going to hide in this building. Yeah. They're going to hide in the building. No? You going to stay out in the sun? Yeah, maybe. You can't hide in this building. We're breaking it down. Apparently, you can hide in a breaking down building. Really? That's interesting. All right, cool. Uh, they can they can hide in the building that we're actively breaking down. So, I guess we'll take everybody off of that one. I'm going to start breaking this building down, too. There's a lot of buildings around here that we should break down, so we're going to be doing it. Um, let's go ahead and unstaff you, and then we're going to have you guys uh, come up here. We're going to we're gonna take these guys out of here, I think. Yeah, so we're going to use this squad and, and you know, and attack and, and kill, so... Take the stuff. There we go. Yep. And just bring the car over here. It's just faster to, to use the car. And then we'll also take these guys out too. I'd rather just, you know, eliminate them from the game. As opposed to like, you know, waiting for them to wake up at night and everything. We can just take them out now. It's fine. So we'll get out of the car. Get out of the car. You two should be able to handle that pod. No problem. So let's go ahead and do that. And then these guys will wait for this pod over here. This shouldn't be an issue. We'll just get out really quick. Okay. Get out. Select both. Attack. There we go. Back out and back in. There we go. We're good. And now go get. Sir, we found something interesting near the lair that we just cleared. A CCTV camera. Still operational. Solar powered. Could someone still be watching this place? I mean, we're breaking the thing down, so say hello. <laughs> say hello and wave. Still like that. We can make new friends. Yeah, I still like the, still like that response. All right, and then we have got this place over here. We'll just, we'll just scavenge the building next to it for now. And then when these guys get over there, what in the world are you doing? Get in the car. Get over here. Yep. Uh, meanwhile, we got everybody back at camp, doing camp things. Let's put some people on research, and then we still have people over here doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should be. Getting that fortified wall taken care of, too. You know, still breaking everything down over here. All right. So we're getting out of the car. Get out of the car. These guys are almost done. I don't remember how big this is, but the circle is almost full. So they're probably... Yeah, they got a good amount of number here. 13 of them in there. So we're going to, again, go in there with overwhelming force. Well, if you... If I could... If I could just draw a box and select you, that'd be great. Attack. And back out. And attack. See that big boom that we that we do right at the very beginning? It's nice that way. Uh, okay, we can just scavenge this place really fast, I guess. There we go. And then back out, back out, and back out. And then I got to get you guys back to camp so that we can continue to get... Uh, all the building supplies we need. We have seven days of food. I'm thinking, you know what? We got a station wagon here, and let's um, let's try this. We're gonna have you go over here, and then here, 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 here. Just kind of like this, in a circle. It'll be really effective because it's a circle. And then uh, I think I had actually somebody mention that in a comment to me too. So. It's a decent idea. Whoops. I just I just messed it up though. 
Yeah, it's a decent idea. Doing it in a circle means that the car kind of stays more central to the, the group. Um, I don't know if it's going to work in every situation. And this isn't technically a circle, but I understand like how putting the car in the very middle here could potentially speed everything up. Did I start with this one? I did, didn't I? Okay, so they'll they'll take care of that one. And then you guys are just going to get out and disband and get out and disband. Uh, answering again, answering questions. Uh, I've answered them before, but you know, there's new people, and I, I welcome you. I want you to, I want you to know that you can interact with me, and it's gonna be fine. Um, the uh, the people they do not lose their experience when you disband them. Um, they they retain all their experience, so they will level up over time. But and I, I like to disband and form new squads because it kind of spreads out that that experience, so that everybody gets a little bit better. Because you never know how many you're gonna need. You never know who you're gonna need. And, uh, you don't want to have like your most experienced, you definitely don't want to have your most experienced people die because of something weird or just something strong. And then all of a sudden you are left with a bunch of inexperienced people. You don't want that. So this is, uh, this is also a way to spread out that experience and make sure that everybody is competent. And, uh, I like that. So these guys might be trouble. We'll have to keep, keep an eye on them. I could also just take them out right now because that would give us more guns, right? Yes. Yes, yes, it would. That's correct, Charlie. Okay, cool. Just checking. <laughs> Let's go get it. I guess I'm taking the fuel tanker because I clicked it. I'm going to bring these guys down over here just to help reinforce. Yep. Just bring them down over here. Get, get back up. Rolling out. All right. Hold on. We got them right here. Yep. Right here. Get out. We're going to start shooting them right there. Just, Attack. just, there's three of them. Shoot them in place. Operator. Here we go. And get out and fire. Shoot. Shoot. I can't apparently shoot. Shoot, please. No, not going to shoot. There it goes. Okay. Cool. Uh, we just get the weapons. I don't think that's the same squad, though. So, yep. There's another one down here. That's where I was originally headed. So, we're going to get those guys down to help reinforce. These guys will go ahead and grab the, the weapons and ammunition and stuff. And then we'll, uh, no, you're not going to grab it. Man, it is much more difficult to grab things now. Oh, it's, they're full. That's why. All right. Horde spotted. Oh, that's weird. Whoa. They're out in the daytime still. That's crazy. All right. Well, hang on. There's only two of them. I say we just go in there and do it with these guys. They got assault rifles. I mean, we outrange them, so this should be a fairly straightforward thing. We're on the move. Kill yep. Them. Them Not sure why this guy has to step forward. Oh, because he's got a pistol. Yep. That's actually a problem. How in the world are they still alive? This is so weird that they're actually getting shots off on us right now. Wow. Well. There he is. We got more guns. I mean, I might as well shoot. Now nah, we're really wounded. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Apparently there's guns still over here. Let's go ahead and take this back. Do you have any more guns? More guns? More guns? That was way off key. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, man. My parents are in a rock band, by the way. In case you guys didn't know. Okay, I say that because it sounds cool, but it's a classic rock and country band. They play cover songs uh, in local places around, so it's it's yeah, they're, they're cool. My mom is a really great singer, though. Uh, I'm saying that not just because she's my mom, but also because she's got a really great voice. And uh, sometimes I sing off key just so they know, just so they know that their their stuff has passed on to their son. <laughs> <laughs> their their awesome musical talents are, are certainly here yeah great all right uh we got uh some stuff in the car it's not a lot but it's there and i can bring it back home let's bring it back in case we get attacked we haven't been in like attacked by a lot of stuff recently anyway it hasn't happened uh should we just stop and pop these guys just stop and pop 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 yeah. Let's do it. Let me move a little bit. Shoot him again. 
All right. Yeah, shoot them again. Yeah, there we go. Just weakening them for later, you know, in case we run into them later. All right, this is a problem. Let's get it. Let's get back to Let's base. We're going to take our scavengers away and form our squads. Here we go. Operator. We have more guns. All right, so uh, let's start by getting one of these cars. And we definitely want to protect the wall. So we're going to head this way first. 100%. They're going to they're gonna attack this wall. There they go. Yep. How much HP does this currently have? Holy shit! It has 12,000 already. Oh my god, we have to do fortified stuff. It has 12,000 HP. 15,000 when it's done? What? Receiving. Waiting orders. Wow. I am I'm other than just freaking out, I'm speechless. Waiting orders. That is nuts. That is super crazy stuff right there. Oh my god. I am so happy we have fortified. I'm going to make another one. We're going to build more. Uh, we're going to build another one, and it is going to be, I think. I, I mean, I I want to keep these buildings, right? I want to use them. So I think I'm going to use the wall. Like the gate is going to end up being like right here. Fortified gate here. right like it's god that's a tough call because back here means a lot less resources but it also means i can't use this building without it being under attack but i, I should do it i should still do this or maybe i can just i'll maybe i'll just suck it up and have a wall from here and keep that building inside maybe that's just how we'll play it right we should just play it that way Uh, tell you what, why don't we turn this? Ah, here's an idea. We turn this a little bit. So it's facing this direction, right? And then we could have the wall go between these two buildings. That way I get to keep both of them. I could dig that. I'm doing that. We're going to build another one right there. We are just getting started in our fortification dreams, man. Oh my God. That is crazy how much health that has. Like a standard brick wall has a thousand. A standard gate, like a regular metal gate has 5,000. So the fortified one has three times the health. I mean, it's also, I mean, way more than three times the cost. So I guess that does equal out, but I need it. <laughs> I need it in my life right now. It's necessary completely not i'm not worried about them breaking this thing <laughs> like oh I, I should build this first in case they destroy it they're not destroying it it's not going to be destroyed so now when i make a fortified wall all the way around my base here and everybody goes and says why do you care so much about walls just make a bunch of towers Fifteen thousand hp that's why I care about walls. <laughs> oh my God. This is so over the top. I love it. All right. Um, grab the truck and let's go scavenge some more. Huh? Uh, it's, well, it's still pretty early in the night though. I probably shouldn't do that yet. Yeah. I probably shouldn't do it yet. We'll head over here with you just to get vision. We'll head over here with you to get vision. Oh, there we go. See, we get vision. All right. We got some vision of these guys over here too. Okay, uh, let's draw these guys in. Wait, wait, wait. They're, these guys are already beelining for us. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get the ones that are already coming right at us anyway. There you go. Bring them in. Here, dummy, 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 dummy. There we go. And then grab the car again. And head out and see if we can't pull these guys in too. I, I'd rather just get rid of the horde they physically exist on the map they don't spawn and despawn at night or anything so if we can eliminate them that's just one less pod we have to deal with over time there we go and everyone can tell why i have three guns in the car with me yeah i get to shoot them on the way in and i get to move during the gaps in our firing power it works works really well all right i think 
that's going to do it for the dangers of the night. I suspect anyway. And so I'm going to, this is my, this is the objective now, right? We scavenge enough food to survive. I have seven days of food. We keep hitting this button and just hope that people hear us, even though it doesn't look like they do very often now. Um, and bring them in. And then we, um, I mean, maybe these wanderers are coming in, right? Maybe they're not just calling us. I'm used to people calling us and saying, hey, we need help and, and go to their, uh, but maybe that's not needed anymore. We do need fuel a little bit. Um, we have the fuel trucks and you know, we, we can still refuel vehicles that way. Um, but I would like to go and actually get the gas cans. So we're going to do that with the truck today. And I'm thinking the truck is going to come. We're going to go over here where the, where all the fuel stuff is. We have a lot of fuel cans right over here. Yeah. It's still over here. Wow. All right, cool. Uh, this is also the house I believe where, uh, can I see my objectives? No, you're not going to show me. So I believe this is the house where those raiders are. So we're going to want to like, we're going to go near it when we could do this stuff, but, um, just gonna want to maybe steer clear of it i don't know uh so i don't trigger it i don't want to trigger it so we'll go here and then here 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 and then back to here 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 and here uh and then at that point you might as well just do this i guess if you have the time you might as well so the truck's gonna go up and do do that now we have three Research points right now. We have too many squads as well. Let's just get rid of the squads. Yep, uh, everybody. Just disband everybody, especially the really wounded ones. Wow. Um, we're going to have you guys pretty much focusing on that because it's super important. Um, builders are going to take care of these anyway. And then they'll stay builders. So once they're done with the gate, which is on which only needs 10 more wood. Jeez. I mean, at this rate, why don't I just do gate, 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 gate? Because <laughs> I don't have the people to man it. That's why. You have to have the people to... Otherwise, like, what's the point? If you don't have anybody stationed in there, then they're eventually going to destroy it. It's just going to take them a very long time to do so. Yeah? Chief, I've been looking around more recently. And I'm thinking... Everything's turning green. Pure. Okay. We're not the masters of this world anymore. Search done. What do you mean by that? Branches sticking out of windows, Clear. roots breaking through, as if the forest itself has come to reclaim the land. And all these animals around downtown, it's their world now. And the infected. It's awesome. It's as it should be. Maybe it should be like this, after all. No more to find. Yeah. All right, here comes the call for this. Operator, we found the raiders' hideout. They haven't spotted us yet, and it looks like a perfect opportunity to attack. Should we engage? Nope, we're going to wait till nighttime. Let's get more information, though. Let's find out more first. What information do you need? Well, how many guys are there, for one? How many of them are there? From what we can see, I'd say about a dozen. Are they, like... You know, armed with cannons and RPGs. What kind of weapons do they have? Sticks and stones. The usual, some pistols, a few rifles. A few being four, if I remember correctly. Uh, so that's really good. This this event is awesome. If you can defeat them, you get a lot of really great weapons. Uh, what, what are they doing? What are they doing? Most of them don't do anything. Some raiders are looking out through windows. That's enough information. Let's get him at the cover of night. What shall we do then? Take him by surprise. Wait until it gets dark. We'll take them by surprise. Roger that, sir. All right. We need to attack the raiders attacking the hideout. So the truck has four cans of fuel in it right now. That's good. And these guys are just kind of going around to different things, right? Uh, looks like they're going to move the truck. They did. They moved the truck. Let's grab the truck again. I just figured you would, you know, move on to the next location without moving the truck, but that's fine. Let's do it. Do that one, then that one, then that one, and that one. And then we'll have you go this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And by that time, 
uh, we should be ready with backup to go ahead and get them at night. So we're going to send a whole bunch of people out that way tonight. It's riskier because our own base is left undefended for the most part. So it becomes a little bit more risky. But if we can pull it off and it ends up being fine, like for the for, sake, I mean, we're going to leave like at least eight guns behind, of course, but um, it gets riskier to, to do that at night because you're leaving your own base with all your guns. Hey, look, survivors came in. Uh, yeah, right here. We've encountered a group of Sweet. Yeah, accept them. Bring them in. them in. Cool. So we have more workers now. That's great. Uh, we'll go ahead and form a squad with them right, right away. Uh, I need one more person, though. Let's grab one of the scavengers. We'll grab a few of the scavengers, actually. Five ought to do. Grab one. And then also... Ready for action. See, I wish they wouldn't pull from people who are wounded. I, I, I realize you're probably trying to do, like, the highest ranks and stuff, but... I don't want to build the med bay yet, man. I don't want to. I just don't want to. But I probably will. Um, I'm thinking the med bay will probably be this building. It's pretty big. So, like, I kind of want smaller buildings for these sorts of purposes. We don't use them as often, right? So, and then uh, we got the, the gate over here, which is covering this entire gap. And it already has more HP. Like, it already has more HP than a regular metal tower usually does. I think like uh metal tower is like about fourth 4k so this one's pretty close anyway uh already anyway these guns right this group here definitely somebody we want uh coming out there to help us where'd they go right over here yeah definitely somebody people we want to be out this way uh we're gonna go ahead and grab this property and this property and by then we should be ready to ambush um so there's uh, a lot of our guns there. I'm going to leave these guys at home because they're wounded and they can stay in the building and be functionally and be useful. Um, we're going to pull, I think, more scavengers off this. Let's grab two additional squads here. I like it. And then we're just going to have these two squads. Each of you grab a car, basically. And uh, the other one grab the other car. Yep. And you're going to head out that way to help them. It's going to be nighttime soon. So we'll go ahead and grab them and head out this way. We need a lot of guns for these guys. Uh, you know, there's a dozen of them and they've got rifles. So. They're not a joke. They'll go down and then we'll take their stuff. But they're not a joke. We want to approach from this side. Their vision is over here, looks like. Yeah, we want to approach from this side. Search done. All right, so we're going to approach Receiving. from over here. Let's meet over here. Waiting orders. Yeah, other cars are on their way. Reinforcements are arriving soon. Orders. They're going to head from this side, too. Receiving. I'll have you come around this going side. There. It's fine. Ready for action. And then, I don't know if you guys are going to be done scavenging Reporting. soon here, but we probably should, down. you know. Operator. Roger. Reporting. There you go. Head this way. There's our rifles. And they're over here, too. Ooh, got a little close there, but we're, we're fine. Reporting. All right, because it's on this side. All right, so here's our, our posse. We're ready to take them down. I, that's That's got to be enough guns. No no way that's not enough guns. We have two additional pistols at home. So we're basically Reporting. defending with six pistols. Let's hope we don't get any problems. But this gate is freaking done. And they have pistols, too. There are five five people with pistols in this fortified gate. Holy crap. I don't know how I feel about this. I kind of feel like I should do the bows, bows and arrows. <laughs> because there's enough time to kill them with the bows and arrows. There's 15,000 experience. 15,000 HP. This is the structure I kind of need to... I feel like I need to defend... But again, there's 50, almost 6,000 HP in it right now. So, like, I don't think they're going to take it down. Waiting orders. I have enough time to, like, you know, grab the car and do the car thing. So, I think we'll be fine. Okay. Uh, so, let's focus our attention up here. We're going to wait. We're waiting for nighttime, right? Darkness falls across the land. All right. The midnight hour is close at hand. And we are going to come over and be the bump in the night that these guys did not expect. 
All right, we're gonna get out. Let's get out. Get out. The car. Get out. Get out. All right, we are gonna take all four squads. Bundle you together, right here, outside their vision, and attack. Attack. Pop, pop, pop. I guess they don't really have vision. They, they were standing outside, so I figured they could see, but I guess they don't really have vision because they didn't do anything. We, we, we approached and came in from that side, so I figured, but all right, whatever. That's it. They done. The overwhelming force. That's all it takes. So now we scavenge the house. Everybody take their stuff back to their cars. Yeah, everybody take the stuff you scavenged. You got a, a rifle in your hands. You didn't get anything. You didn't get anything. So the other squad must have it. What do you got? Come on. Don't tell me only one of you have. Okay. There's the other three. I'm like, I know there's four rifles with these guys, man. All right. At home. Everybody come on back home. Okay. A successful infiltration. And we are coming back with four additional assault rifles feels real good man i gotta say it's uh this is the this is the one right this is our playthrough it's gonna work All right i'm confident incoming transmission hi there operator how you doing mate i know how it sounds and <laughs> we did you some wrong but yeah i've got nobody else to call and shit hit the fan i love this event it's so good uh, yeah, what's happening over there? What in the hell is happening there? Well, to put it lightly, we're surrounded at. Mm -hmm. These infected jack shits are already inside and we're stuck in the last room. Yeah? We won't hold out for long and none of my boys can come help, so. So you want me to save you, huh? Why should we help you? We'll do anything, really. Whatever you want. Your call. Disarm and join us. Surrender your weapons and join us. But how are we supposed to live then? You can't refuse. You're in no position to refuse. So we're going to get these guys added All right. to our All camp right. now. We'll do anything. Just get us out of here. I'm working on it. We're coming. We're coming to get you out. We sure are. Uh, get back in the car. Everybody who doesn't. Yeah, I think I want you to stay. You guys are wounded, so we'll have you stay here. And then everybody else on me. We're already loaded up. Well, let's just get over there and do it. Uh, this is where they are, right? It's the, it's that rotation of the camera thing. It keeps bugging me because I still, again, uh, if you didn't see the last playlist, I really feel more comfortable in this orientation because when I lived here I was facing this direction and I've always looked at maps in this orientation and so I like my brain just works better looking at things this way and uh every time I zoom out it it, it rotates the camera back to where north is up and uh yeah so it's, it kind of throws me off every time I'm sorry <laughs> if it's throwing you off too that's probably why all right all these cars will take a detour over to here uh we'll park right here just in case uh, Going there. there we go. Take the same path. Oh, this is actually a moon night. I totally for I uh, didn't notice that before. Okay, cool. Um, well, in that case, you go over here and look at that building. You, uh, we haven't looked at these buildings yet. Tell me what's in these buildings. All right. Jeez. Scavenge these buildings. Okay. So the infected jack shits, as he as he put it are in here and we're gonna go ahead and save them so here we go here we go one two three and let's just go in there and help him out right there here we go danger close back out done Got us out after all. 
I can't believe you did that. But you did. I should have given you my respect much earlier. You're the bigger man, no doubt. What will you do with us now, huh? That doesn't sound like the same voice. Right? It doesn't sound like the same guy. It's weird. What happened to it? Join us. You'll fight for us. That's better than dying, I guess. Thanks. We'll try not to screw things up. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. My, my, my ears are weird maybe right here, but it sounds to me like this line was dubbed by somebody else and then they got this line here. Almost like they wanted to change the words, but they couldn't get him to do it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thrown off by that. It just sounds like a different guy to me, but maybe it's just me. Welcome to the zone. Yeah, welcome to the zone, buddy. All right, cool. So uh, that's it. Uh, we can go back to our cars now. Everybody go back to your cars. These guys are apparently going to wait to come to us. I'm not sure why, but all right. There's four of them. And uh, we can actually just scavenge these places, right? So let's start. Uh, we'll start here. And we'll go to these buildings before going home. You will go here and then start with these buildings before going home. And uh, you are going to start with these buildings down here. We're going to go here. And then we'll hit these buildings right. No, nope. hang on. I got to make sure I click the buildings, not the ground. There we go. And we'll get all of these buildings before you go home. Cool. Because it's a moon night, we could do stuff like that. Uh, and we're going to see what's inside these buildings since we've never done it yet. It's a little bit weird that we haven't done it yet, but we haven't. Clear. There's nothing left. Clear. There we go. We have five research points. Almost six, actually. So we could switch to new research. Potentially, if we wanted to here, we could switch. Let's go ahead and uh, disband this group. And we'll disband this group as well. And so, looks like in 48... Oops, hang on. We got Raiders spotted. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, there they are. I like spotting Raiders because it means free weapons. And these guys, they don't seem like... Um, Well, I mean, they don't seem armed. The, the symbol doesn't say they're armed. Well, I don't know why raiders would be unarmed, but that sounds like easy pickings. Operator. It also simultaneously sounds like a waste of my time. Because the only reason for me to go after them is to get their weapons. So if they're not going to be armed, I don't really care. So I got a feeling maybe... I and mean, I can't zoom in enough to see them, but it, I don't see any guns. That doesn't mean they don't have them. It's they're very small, but they don't appear to be carrying any weapons, so... You can usually tell when people are armed when they're walking around. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm all wet. I don't think you can. No, nope. I'm gonna take that back. I don't think I can tell. But you know what? We're gonna make sure we're ready with extreme prejudice. Uh, take you there. Take you there. Let's get in our cars at least. I think I'm good with just going home at this point. With the loot we already have. We have all these assault rifles. I, really, I want to go home with it. So I think I will take this and this car. And we will head back to HQ with those vehicles. And then these guys will join us. And we can continue breaking down all these buildings and everything. Continue uh, getting all these three. So they are going to walk through the water. It's very slow. So it definitely is traversable, but it slows them down way down. That's kind of weird, right? Like, why not just use the road? You should be pathing to the path of least resistance, and that's clearly resisting. <laughs> I feel like you're not being very smart about this. That said, uh, we're going to have eventually a fortified wall between these two buildings. That's just going to happen, so... Let's just do that. We're going to stay right here. Nope, that's not it. It's going to be out. And maybe if I can get them to start constructing this, they'll choose to go around on the road. Instead, that might be one way to get around this. This little dilemma that I've got here. Uh, I don't want to... Need it, I need it to snap to the building on this side. Yep. And then come to this side. Yep. 
Okay, I like... See, like this, but like, didn't we do this differently last time? Weren't we going to put a tower here instead? I think I remember we were going to put a tower here instead. I think I'll just do a metal one. Doing fortified towers everywhere just seems like... It's a really huge expense. If this somehow gets broken, then, you know, I guess I'll replace it, you know, later on when I have more resources, but I, I'm going to just do this for now. And then, uh, we'll take the fortified wall still though, because I think it's badass. And, uh, we're going to go like this. And then from this side, we'll go, yeah, like this right here. I'm actually not sure that'll even work. Like, look how tall that wall is compared to the tower. Am I going to need the tower? That's excessive, right? I think that's just excessive. I'm not sure we need that. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I think that's that's excessive. Uh, we'll just take the fortified wall. We'll do this again. Uh, right there. Okay. And it's because it's so strong. And then the metal, the, not the metal gate. Uh, yeah, we're going to put a gate here too, by the way. Um, but we're going to have the tower. I'm just going to use a metal one and stick it right here. It's fine. If they go after the wall, then the gate will, you know, attack them. That's what the gate's for. That's what the tower's for. It'll just attack them there. Okay. My gosh, it's still getting built. I love it. This is done. And look at this. Okay. I wanted to see this segment. So this segment of wall has 2000 HP. This one will have 2000 as well. Okay, so wall segments have 2,000. That's not as impressive, but I'll take it. Um, it's, it's certainly better than the brick wall. But man, the gates are amazing, aren't they? It's, it's crazy what they got. Uh, we've scavenged most stuff here. Maybe we go to these three and then back to the car. And then we head back home. Yeah, and then we'll head back home to here. Disband, disband, and how about we have you, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll have you uh, build the, the little tower right there, and the wall, yeah, 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 okay, good. Oh, we got ourselves some genuine enemy groups, enemies spotted right there, let's go ahead and get our squads ready once more, whoopsie, whoopsie for you guys, because uh, you're way outnumbered here, way out, way outgunned in this particular a uh, little excursion that we're about to have. Yeah, look at them go. They're going to try to come around the corner and they think that they're, they're being clever, but they're not. Oh, you're right. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? 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 And fire. Shoot, shoot, shoot. They're dead. Thank you for your guns. I appreciate it. And for your ammunition. All right, good. We got a little bit of a wound there, but no big deal. And we bring the guns and ammo back in. The more guns and ammo we can collect, uh, the better armored, uh, the better, yeah, well, the better armored we are, but the better armed we are at our walls and such, right? Uh, I want to also get started on our fortified wall over here too. Why not, man? We're just going to go nuts with the fortifications. I am uh, going to be a turtle. I'm just going to rock it. This is a turtle life right here, right there. And then you are going to go over to here. Yep. We're going to use this building instead. All right, so the builders will get on those things. As far as resources go, we got tons of bricks. We got tons of wood, tons of... Yeah, we got we got stuff. We got stuff to build this. I, I think we're in great shape here for that. We can maybe take a little easy on the scavenging and just continue to to go away into these walls. I'm, I'm in. All right, well, a relatively uneventful night once more. Had one pod, but whatever. It's fine. We took care of it. Uh, is anyone there? Hey, we're looking for help. We're tired of this endless wandering. Yes. How many you got? Six people. Cool. You're invited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, address? You guys are way over at Mini. No, thanks. Uh, yeah. So, uh, come to us. Make your way on, or, on your own. Here you go. Come on over here. Oh, you got another one? Sir, we're in a building full of the infected, and they've cut off our escape. Oh, We've shit. barricaded ourselves in the basement, but we can't get out now. Can you send a squad to fight them off and help us? Yeah, I'll be right there. Wait there. 
I'll send a squad immediately. That happens. Uh, okay, so we're going to take they our researchers here. One, two, three, four. Let's take two squads over there. One, two. You are very wounded. You know that? Very wounded. I, I probably should get the medical up, right? Maybe we'll just... Yeah, I think we'll make this building the medical. This building right here. I think we'll adapt this for medical. Um, let me just see what that means for me. Because, like, again, I don't really want a big building for this purpose. But uh, where is it? I thought it was in production, but it's not. It's in... Uh, oh, it's... Oh, we need to actually unlock the, the research for it. Okay. Um, so I'm researching fertilization techniques right now. And then I'm going to head over to medical care here. And I think at that point, maybe we'll go into... Maybe drug production, shorten recovery time, uh, and then first aid allows people to treat themselves. So maybe we'll do first aid too. I don't know. We'll probably get that stuff going. Either way, I don't really want this guy on my team. Um, and it sounds bad to hear maybe, but I don't want this guy on my team. So we're going to get this guy off my squad by splitting the squad. There we go. And doing this. Yep. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to take another scavenger off. And we're going to find Receiving. like that. All right. You guys are going here. You are going in there. And the remaining squad, you, are disbanded. Goodbye. Or not. Maybe you're just not going to listen to me. That's fine, too. All right. We're going to say right here, we want to go ahead and save these guys. So let's bring them out that way. You are just going to go this way. Disband yourself, please. Thank you. And you can go work on, I don't know, help them with this wall. It's fine. Okay, let's uh, do the thing. Go in there and help them. One, two, three. Here we go. Exit. Enter again. Exit. Enter again. Enter. And go. There it is. Done. Cool. Uh, squads, you want to get your cars again? Yeah. There you go. I finished the job. You got scavenging to do. So I'm probably going to do a little bit of turtling here. I mean, I'm almost still going to send some... Oh, hang on. I'm still going to send some squads. Wow. Uh, they're unarmed, but there's a lot of them? Is that for real? I was going to say I was going to do some turtling, but now I've got an unarmed squad that is uh, very large. And they're kind of coming in. They're really, they're not, I mean, are they actually unarmed? Because, again, I'm not sure it's worth my time if they're unarmed, but all right. Yeah, we're going to shoot at them. Um, Just shoot at them from in the car. Yeah, they are unarmed. They're just, going there. which means we can just kite them super easily. Just, we'll just keep doing this, I guess. How are they still standing? What is this? Wow. All right. Operator, waiting orders. They are really tough. Let's do it. And also really stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, why are you bringing a knife to a gunfight? We're this is clearly not a good thing for you. You should not have. You should not continue to pursue this course of action. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're on the move. There's some serious okay. karma happening here. Yeah, and I just don't get how you're still standing. There we go. Okay. <laughs> like this whole time. I'm like, why are you still alive? Uh, it's crazy. All right. Uh, yeah. Shit. I don't agree, Spike. I don't agree. Uh, get in here. Get in here. There we go. And then here and there oh I, I can't disband from inside the warehouse that's fine uh so yeah i'm gonna look at turtling just a little bit here we're gonna be focusing on resources getting our, our wall set up and everything as long as we have enough food i'm good with it i will have another squad going around still scavenging getting canned food and all that stuff still gonna be doing that because i have to and the more workers i get the the more i have to do that right but um, I'm going to have more builders here. Let's just add maximum build count right here. Builder count. 
and then we'll go like do, doing this and we'll just add scavengers so uh yeah i'll probably come in I'll, first off i just want to say i don't see how a metal tower can shoot over a fortified wall but at the same time i'm super excited about the prospect of the fortified wall being in front of this tower oh man that's that's twice as good as a brick wall right uh but it'd be nicer if i had a an actual fortified tower that would obviously be nicer but uh so as soon as this gap is done and uh this one's almost completed we got uh i think i'll probably get this one going probably and then uh we'll need to connect i think i'm gonna do this one yes i think actually tell you what we're gonna do we're not gonna do this wall uh, we're going to want to use this building. So I'm going to take, even though it costs more, I'm going to take a fortified wall around. Ooh. No, we're going to go like this. From this side, like this. And then over from there to here. And we're going to connect there. And that way I can have a tower right here that covers this area too and helps reinforce the gate. So we're going to do that instead. But I can't do that with it, with these resources being right here. Because we're not allowed to build through these things. So I need metal. Uh, I need the metal removed in this area. Let's just go with gather metal like this. And then I also need the wood removed in this area. We might as well go out like that. So anyway, yeah, we're going to be focusing a little bit more on base building here. We've had a lot of combat. We've had a lot. We've gathered a lot of weapons. We're currently sitting with how many guns? 31 pistols in storage. Just saying. We have 30. We have 37, uh, 38 total weapons, including 31 pistols and seven assault rifles in storage right now. And that does not include anything that we might have on any drafted people which i don't believe i currently have anyone drafted nope no one's drafted but these guys are coming in so that's good we are going to want to start looking at farming the agricultural side of the game i'm going to want to start looking at that we have another science point right meow there we go and that's six so i can t start looking at i just got the fertilization techniques that's great i can start looking at preservation but that's not important what is important, probably, is medical care. So we're going to get that started now. After medical care is done, I'm going to switch to getting the weather forecast. And we're going to get that too. Because I want to I want to know when the moon nights are and the stormy days and all that stuff is. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, that's the game right there. We're going to be breaking these buildings down, getting tons of resources to build a really awesome fortified wall around this entire area. We're going to farm the shit out of it. We're going to keep calling people in. Hey, come on in. Join us. Whatever. And we just need to make sure that the people joining us, we just need to make sure that they can eat, right? That's the bottom line. We're also eventually going to hit our capacity in the living house quarters. Living house quarters? Yeah. The house. And we're going to need another house. I think it's going to be this building here. Uh, I've been going back and forth on it, uh, whether or not I want to keep this building or not, because it directly blocks the HQ sight lines. But with the fortified walls going in and the gates and the towers, I don't care as much about the sight lines over here anymore. So this is going to be adapted to be another house uh, right here. And that's going to give us another 96 living quarters. That should we should be good for the foreseeable future. Uh, on that it's 169 wood though so i am kind of waiting until you know I'm, I'm actually hoping that the fortifications are done before i need this um i can always partially adopt it of course but remember when you go to adapt the rest of it or when you make repairs the building is useless so anyone you displace while that adaptation is taking place or while the repair is taking place every single one of those people are homeless or, you know, living underground or whatever, right? They're dissatisfied while the repairs are taking place. This building, for example, has some damage. If I try to repair this right now with two metal, uh, two wood or whatever, it will immediately become a useless building until the repair is done. 
So that is why I don't like my other buildings being the target for the for the hordes. I like it being HQ because this building has no purpose uh, at all other than just like an extension of storage, which like I don't need that extension. We're we're fine, right? So uh, I won't be able to make squads while that's taking place. I don't I don't know actually if that's true, but uh, whatever. I'll probably do a little bit of repair on this, but given that it still has 8,200 uh, HP, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, these these this stuff needs to be cleared out, and then I can take this wall segment, which is not going to be there. Bye. We're going to take... Uh, I'm just going to wait on this, I think. Yeah. We'll just leave these resources here. Um, let me make a squad really quick and go pick that stuff up. Because it's just going to sit there on the ground, and they're not going to use it, and it's take them forever to pick it up. So... I'm just going to have a car go do it by driving over top of it. Should pop it all in the car. There it goes. Let's do it. And we'll just bring that right back to storage. And they'll have it available to them. All right. But that's it. Uh, I don't think anything really super eventful will happen during this night. But if it does, I'll bring you back during the night. Otherwise, see you guys next time. It's been a lot of fun. Bye-bye. Right.